it is good to see you again. And I didn't realize there's actually a, a big danger that this goes uh, just the way Iowa did. What's going on with this technology? There is, uh, yeah, in, in Nevada here, uh, they had actually tried to use the same, an app made by the same technology provider that created the app in Iowa that caused all of those problems. And on January 11th, they brought hundreds of volunteers to a local high school here to test out that app, and it didn't work. So some people realized then that there was a problem, and it really should have raised red flags. But it wasn't until after the Iowa debacle that Nevada Democratic Party officials here decided to scrap that plan mm. and come up with a whole new one with less than three weeks to go. So now, is this is the, the current plan now, the iPad plan that you described, these 2,000 iPads with Cisco software? That's right. Yeah, there's Cisco software on there that's kind of a security thing where they can, they can control these iPads. There's about 2,000 iPads that the Nevada Democratic Party is distributing as we speak to volunteers who are going to run these caucuses. Now, when they open up these iPads, they're going to see one icon, and it's basically a web link. It's the, it has two letters, CC for caucus calculator. And they're going to open that up, and it's going to go to a Google form, and it's going to connect with a cellular connection, and they're going to actually tally the results in that form. Mm. So there are going to be paper redundancies here, but it's, this calculator is really what's going to help them do some complicated math. Yeah, I mean, I, I read this, I think about it, and as much as we know technology is the future, if it's not ready for prime time, Reed, why not just use the phones? Why not just use literally paper or some of the older systems until something, you know, in such short notice, it, it just feels like they're taking a big risk here. Well, so what happened in Nevada is caucuses are always messy. Um, they're big, raucous events. Uh, it's, it's volunteers trying to move physical people around in a room. So mistakes are always made. But what's happening this year in Nevada has never happened before. They're taking early voting totals, which you mentioned earlier, um, or those early votes, which are ranked choice. So it's between three to five candidates. And they're going to have to incorporate those early votes into live caucusing. That's going to create some complicated math. And what they were hoping is that they could use technology to, to make that math a lot easier. Um, and, that's, and that's what they have done with this Google Form. But if it doesn't work, if something goes wrong, they're going to have to open up these envelopes with a paper printout and flow charts that describe step by step how they are going to incorporate those early votes into the live caucuses. And that's wow. a, it's a very tedious process. Tedious. It's messy. <laughs> we know this is, is often true of voting, but, you know, technology introducing a new uh, wrinkle. Reed, what do you think will be the takeaway from what we've seen play out so far this year? I mean, how, how for future elections are we going to make sure that these results are, especially for the fall even, um, you know, that these results can be trusted? Well, as Maggie McAlpine, the security expert, told me, the technology to take voting and make it an online digital process is not even in its infancy yet. So I think what, what election officials have to realize is that technology can play a role in helping elections take place, but it is not going to replace the you know, paper ballot system, yeah. um, at least if we want to have secure and safe elections. Yeah. So they have to be very careful about the technology they use, and they need more continuity in the personnel developing it so it's not like they're starting from scratch every four years. Yep. Reed, uh, good luck tomorrow. Good reporting. We look forward to seeing the results uh, and, and hope we, that there aren't any more hiccups, uh, we should say.